Hello friends. Today we're going to be making some banana nut bread. And my favorite recipe I found in this cookbook. It's Vestal Goodman. If you are not familiar with her, she is um, gone now, but she was pretty much the queen of Southern gospel music. Awesome lady. And she's also an awesome cook. Now, her banana nut bread is so good. I do change it up just a little bit. Um, just some things that I, I liked better, but we're gonna go, mostly go by her recipe. Okay, and so we're gonna start off with a, just a regular cake mix, okay? It can be white, it can be yellow, it can be any brand. Not picky about that. Okay, so we're just gonna pour it in a bowl. This is so, so easy. And it's very tasty. All right, we're gonna go with a stick of butter, melted. And I like using the Kerrygold butter, the Irish butter. It is much, much better than any other butter, I think. So we're gonna go with that. And we're gonna melt it. Okay, you fell off the cabinet, so I have to start telling you about this butter again. And we're just gonna melt it. And I'm gonna put, put it in the microwave for about 30 seconds and let that melt. Now we're also going to use three uh, eggs and they're room temperature. You're baking, it's best to use room temperature, I think. So they've been sitting out for a little while. So three eggs. And then you can use about a half a cup of pecans. I usually just get a little handful out. Okay. So, just like that. If you cook with me very often, you see that I'm just real simple. Okay, let's check our butter. Uh, might need a few more seconds. Let's put it on for about, let's say 12 seconds. Okay, now for our um, bananas, we want very, very ripe to, uh, bananas. And uh, these were ripe, and that's why I even decided to make it in the first place. The riper, the better. Now, if you don't have time to uh, do banana nut bread, I have found a wonderful way that you can just, well, when they're like this or whatever stage they're at, that, that you don't want to really wanna eat them anymore, either too ripe. Just wrap them in foil, stick them in the freezer, and then... I have done that numerous times and um, and then just put it in the um, I don't peel it or anything I just stick it right in the freezer just like that and when you take it out of the freezer it's just really really soft and real easy to to mix she asked for four in her recipe, I'm just putting three, because that's all I have. My mom always said a good cook knows how to improvise, and I don't think another banana is gonna make that huge of a difference. And plus, I probably like it better with a little bit less banana taste. Okay, so we're gonna get our butter out. And it's good and melted. I don't want to pour the hot butter on the egg. So I'm going to pour it over here on this side. And then we are just going to, we're just going to mix it up. Get it ready for our pans. So we got this good and mixed up. 
and we're going to put it in our pans. You can use either a loaf pan, or I really, really like these little mini pans, and I, I cook stuff in those all the time. So that's probably what I'm going to use today. And find a little spatula. Just a second. Let me spray these. Now I'm gonna cook these in a 325 oven. I'm kind of like um, a slower, when I make any kind of bread or cake, I usually just kind of make it a little bit um, lighter for that. Okay, I wish I had more of these little things. Um, I probably would put the excess in a regular loaf pan, but I, so I don't have to just keep on filling these. But I love these little ones. And you just fill it about three, a little less than three fourths full. And it makes it makes several. So put them in there. It's a gorgeous day. I really want to be outside. I have been outside this morning. We got a little rain yesterday and the garden looks beautiful. The potatoes are coming up. The onions are looking good. Just excited about it. Okay. Air out. Okay, I'm going to put these in the 350, uh, 325 oven. Um... Probably, we'll just see. I uh, probably about forty-five minutes. Here we go. Okay, they have been cooling for about ten minutes, and I also checked them with a toothpick uh, just to make sure. And so now we're going to uh, turn them out. Oh, they're perfect. Mm -mm. And uh, just try just a little slice. I love this with coffee. Um, I'm probably going to try a slice of the big one because I'm probably going to wrap these up. I like to wrap these up and put them in the freezer. And then whenever you need a quick bread or you want to give somebody something, there you go. Wrap it up in some saran wrap and then put some uh, foil on it. And then when you're going to give it to them, take the foil off and keep it in the saran wrap. Put a bow on top and there you go. It looks great. So let me um, see if this one is cool enough. I'll let uh, these ended up cooking, the small ones ended up cooking for about um, between 35 and 40 minutes. And then I'll let this big one uh, go for about another five. And um, let's see if it's going to be as good. I should have this on a cooling tray, but. Yeah, this is perfect. Look at it's steaming. It's still steaming. Oh, it's so pretty. I'm so proud of them. And they, th I promise y'all, this is the best banana nut recipe. And it's easy. That's what I love. So let's slice a, a little slice of it. We'll slice the big one, like I said. And you can even dust a little bit of, of um, powdered sugar on there if you wanted it, you know, for decoration. I like it just like this. You can just fill the butter in and it's got, that butter is so good. Mmm, you can taste it too. It's, you really can't tell if it three bananas in there instead of four. You can put three, you can put four. Probably wouldn't want to do two. Mmm. I need some coffee or hot tea. Delicious. All right, guys, if you like this recipe, give me a thumbs up, share it. I hope you subscribe by now. If not, hit the subscribe button, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Mm.